Today, I'm gonna tell you guys how I decided on having a hair transplant and why. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you guys like the content, go ahead and give me a like and share it with uh, anyone you think would benefit from the information. All right, now let's get started. Okay, so a little background about myself. My name is Melvin. I am a forum co-moderator and editorial assistant for the Hair Transplant Network. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys when I started to lose my hair, what type of treatments I took, and when I decided on having a hair transplant. And yes, this is all transplanted hair. Okay, so when I first started to lose my hair, I was only about 22 years old. Uh, I remember vividly, it was the Oscar De La Hoya versus Mayweather fight. Uh, I went to a friend's house. We were just, you know, having a couple drinks, talking and everything. And a, an old friend that I hadn't seen for a few years came up to me and was like, hey dude, uh, are you are you going bald? And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, you got a receded hairline. And my friends were just kind of like, shut up, dude. And I, I remember I was like, huh? And I remember going to the bathroom and like, looking at my hairline. I had a flip phone at the time. I started taking pictures with my flip phone and, and looking at it and being like, oh shit, is, am I going bald? And then it literally ruined my whole night. It ruined not just that night, but almost a whole decade. And I'm gonna get into that. Okay, so fast forward a few years, um, I was sort of just kind of in denial that uh, I was losing my hair. I kind of grew my hair out a little bit longer and uh, I was able to kind of disguise it to make it look like I wasn't going bald and nobody really brought it up to me for at least maybe two or three years. So uh, I was kind of like, kind of just forgot, you know, out of sight, out of mind type of thing. And it wasn't until I believe I was 25 when I had seen another friend that I hadn't seen for a few years and uh, I remember we met each other at a Chipotle, we had some food, and then when I left, uh, I remember I got a text and he said, hey dude, I, I really gotta tell you something. And I was like, huh, um, I was thinking he's gonna tell me something, you know, uh, personal, which it was personal, but he said, uh, I, I hate to say this, but you're really starting to lose your hair. And again, that same feeling in, the, in my heart just just down to my stomach and I'm like, oh, air came out of me. I'm like, Whoo! you know? And I thanked them. I said, thanks, man. I, you know, I really got to do something about it then because uh, I had known this for a few years, but I thought that it, you know, would just go away, you know? And uh, obviously it's not, it's getting worse. And he's like, yeah, maybe you should consider, you know, getting on Rogaine or something. Um, so, Previously, when I had first realized that I started going bald, I had tried finasteride when I was like 22, when I, that, when I, all that fiasco happened and it gave me bad side effects and I stopped taking it and uh, I kind of just didn't take anything. So once again, that same friend that I hadn't seen for maybe about a year or two, uh, we met up again uh, for, for lunch and he, I remember he was coming by, behind me, and I remember he tapped my, my shoulder, and I looked back, and I'm like, hey, what's up, man? So we had lunch, whatever. Again, I leave, I leave, you know, feeling good. I had a good chat with my friend, and I get a phone call. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? What's going on? And, uh, and he told me, he's like, eh, remember our conversation of a few years ago? And you said if, you know, if, uh, if, if I needed to be honest with you, I could. And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. He's like, I think it's time for you to shave your head. And I was like, oh man, again, that same feeling. Like, oh, this time I thought like maybe the road gain's working. Sometimes, you know, you're so blind to it or you just, you're in denial and you, what you see in the mirror is not what others are seeing. So I was like, damn, maybe I am really just, just really going bald. So that night, I, I went to Walmart, bought some clippers, and buzzed my head. And this was, I, I actually, I, it wasn't 29, I was 28. So I was 28, I, bu I buzzed my head. And I'm gonna show you guys a picture right here of um, how I look like. That was me at 28. And I stayed with a shaved head for a, just about a year. And my shaved head was just not for me. 
So I was shaving my head and I thought I could get over it, but every time I would see a photo or a picture of myself, I just could not accept what I was seeing. I just felt like this isn't me. This is, I've always been a guy who cared about uh, his hair. I always changed my different hairstyles. Like I had a mohawk, you know, um, I had all different kinds of hair. I used to have all spiked, my hair all spiked. I, and I would always take about 30 to 40 minutes to do my hair when I was in high school. So I, hair was important to me. And seeing me without hair was something that I just couldn't accept. It was a feeling of like, I didn't know who, who I was looking at. Like, who is this guy? This isn't, this isn't me. And that was about the time that I started researching hair transplants. So uh, I started Googling hair transplants and I started uh, you know, going on Yelp and stuff like that. And it wasn't until I think I was looking up hair transplant forums and I found the Hair Restoration Network. And uh, I started going on the forum and I started asking them. I put a picture of my hair and thinking, you know, can I get a good result? Is it possible? I remember I got a lot of negative responses saying, you know what, you're very bald for you know, not even being 30 yet, uh, I really don't think you should consider having a hair transplant. And that kind of made me take a step back and be like, damn, that kind of sucks, you know? But I remember seeing a couple of uh, journeys that made me optimistic about my own uh, possibilities. For example, Bill, and uh, I, I let you guys sh see his journey. He was 27 when he first underwent hair transplant surgery. and. He had a fantastic head of hair and I was just thinking if I can just have a little bit of hair, if I could just do something, I mean, give me, give me four hairs and I'll make them look good. You know, that was my thinking. Um, and so I finally started researching hair transplant surgeons and hair transplant results and I started sending private messages to guys who had had uh, a hair transplant with the doctor that I was interested in and I started asking if I could talk to them on the phone and kind of get, uh, uh, you know, get their experience and what they thought. Finally, I scheduled a consultation with a hair transplant surgeon and I had a hair transplant. And ever since then, I've been a bit, I've been kind of hooked, you know, I found a passion. I found something that gets me excited. I found something that I want to put my story out there so that somebody else who was in my shoes could feel how I felt when I saw those other threads and those journeys, you know, and it's a feel of hope, you know, that's what we all really run on is hope. You want to have a hope that someday there's a cure. You want to have a hope that someday you can regain your hair and look like how you used to look. And I'm happy to say that today I've, it's, blown my expectations way out of the water. I never thought that I can have hair that looks like this. I mean, this is, this is insane. This is amazing. And I'm going to, just to let you guys see, I'm going to post the picture of what I looked like before. That's how bald I was. It's, it's, uh, it's insane. So in closing, all I want to do is invite you guys over to the Hair Restoration Network to check out some real journeys if you guys are interested in having a hair transplant. Look, I'm not trying to sell hair transplants. I'm not trying to do anything. All I'm trying to do is link you guys up with real patients like myself, like the ones that I was talking to, and just to get a gauge, non-biased reviews. That's pretty much all I got to say about that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description box. So be sure to check it out. All right, till next time.